morning. Day 16. Apricot bergamot. I might have to look up what bergamot is. I know you're busy, so I made a list of all the things I'm going to need for the holidays. <laughs> morning, Cody. Can you say morning? Yeah. You didn't even chew. You just swallowed that whole. Look at those cold temperatures. Good morning from a sleepy puppy. So I am sitting on my heating pad and I am much better this morning. It's not nearly as tight. Oh, you're not even going to look at us? <laughs> so thank you for all the well wishes on yesterday's little Vlogmas. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will be able to go to knitting and physical therapy today. Headed into knitting and it's snowing. Blowing and snowing. Hey everyone, it has, I've been a little absent today. Um, I went to knitting group and we had a nice group of people there and so I knit for a couple hours and then I left to go to my physical therapy appointment and I drove ah, 20 minutes north of where I was and walked up to the door and it was dark and the door was locked. And I was like, hmm, I must have messed up something here. I thought I had an appointment at two o'clock so I kind of waited in the parking lot because I thought, well, maybe she stepped out. It's a, it's a kind of a office complex, but there, she has her own entrance. And, and then I finally was like, well, I'll just leave. And then I thought, well, I, I've been wanting to go get my nails done for Christmas. So maybe I should call and see if I can do that. So I called and they said, yeah, but we can't take you till 245. And I got there and they were just packed. There were all these high school girls in there. I don't, I don't know what was going on, but... Maybe there's a dance, maybe maybe they're going on Christmas break, I don't know. But they didn't get me until five after three. And I was supposed to be home by 4.30 in order to take my husband out to pick up my dad's little truck because they close at five and it's been in the shop. <laughs> so I raced home and got there just right before, you know, we needed to be out the door. And um, I had taken out uh, stuffed chicken breasts <laughs> for supper, but they're not in the oven yet. And now I just dropped my husband at the, this little mechanics place um, to get the, the truck for my dad. And supper is not in the oven, so we're headed home. But it's been a crazy afternoon and that's what you get. <laughs> so now I'm headed home. I'll talk to you in a bit. Hi everybody. So I just have a couple of things to tell you today. I got an email from or text message from someone who took knitting classes with me and she had knit a hat and she has a kitty who loves yarn and she woke up yesterday morning to a hat underneath the dining table with a little chewed spot on it and she asked if she could uh, pay me to fix a spot and then she sent a picture and I thought it looked like just a drop stitch and I was like no problem I'll absolutely fix that for you and she said how much do you want you know how much and I said I can just fix it it's not a big deal I said do you want to drop it off my house I said just to be upfront I've hurt my back and I'm not sure about going to knitting tomorrow 
and um, but I will be around and she said oh I'm a neighbor of Karen who goes to your knitting group so maybe I'll just give it to her I'm in no hurry to get it back or whatever so Karen brought it to knitting today with an envelope with $20 in it <clears throat> which I promptly returned <laughs> And then I started to fix on it, and I it was about four stitches wide and three stitches tall, and so I had to knit a piece of fabric, and I didn't bring double-pointed needles with me, so I was knitting on a cable needle and with a chibi or a darning needle to knit those stitches up, and then I tried to Kitchener the two ends together, and it there was a little pearl bump, and it just didn't look good. So I didn't take a picture of the mistake, but I asked the two ladies sitting on either side of me, and they're like, well, it's probably okay, but I knew it wasn't. So I ripped it out, and we ate lunch, and then I started again. And I fixed the spot where that pearl stitch had been and re kitchenered and sewed it up. So I have two little videos to insert here of the before, um, kind of what it was looking like, and then how it looked when it was done. Um, had I taken it home, and worked on it I think I could have even done a better job with more time and just laying it out but I kind of feel like maybe she wanted it back anyway and then I have taken some time today to do a little videoing around my house of all of the knitting decor that this house is full of which when I step back and take a look it's everywhere every room has something that has to do with knitting in it. My husband has never complained, he's never said a thing, but I have pictures hanging on the wall, I have felted ball mats and all the tables and coffee tables, I have little figurines everywhere. It, it is just 35 years of knitting paraphernalia, but I'm gonna just um, put that in with a little music underneath it so that you can see all the little things that I have around my house today, and, um, and that's about all I have. settles to a crawl, she relaxes, knits the thumb of a three-colored mitten. Whenever I see hand knits, I think of you. to do today. Send card, laundry, knit on scarf, dishes, vacuum, knit on hat. Need yarn. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere the lamb you went, the girl was sure to go. She followed it for days and days, because Mary was no quitter. Give me your fleece, you crazy lamb, can't you see that I'm a knitter? The lamb said, wait till I'm grown up, my fleece isn't ready yet. Just skip on down to the yarn shop and see what you can get. friend found this painting at an antique store and called my husband right before Christmas and said I bought Corey her Christmas present from you for this year there's a very fine line between insanity and mental illness I walk the line <laughs> 